Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Not a topwater edition, but this is where we catch largemouth bass and I show you how to have fun catching largemouth bass. So buckle up and hang on, it's gonna be a good one. Okay, it's finally starting to warm up. It could stay cold all day, wouldn't hurt my feelings. So I changed up, boys and girls, if you haven't noticed, this is the reel that was on the 13 fishing and uh, the reel that was on here, the zillion, is on the uh, 13 fishing. Because for whatever reason, this reel reels way easier than the other reel. And I think it's simply because, if you can make out how much more line I've got on this one. And it still isn't even full. So I've come to the conclusion that I probably like a closer to an 8 to 1 or 7 5 to 1 for chatterbaits, which means I'll just leave less line on these reels, which is fine. It'll cast lighter baits even li uh, easier. But what I did find out in the little switch off is our rods with this crazy little bitty guides. It's fine to run the 15 pound braid to a 15 pound leader. It kind of makes it, I can hear it going through the guide but it, it oh there's a fish i better stand up i'm trying to tell you guys that's a crappie no wait that's a green sunfish yeah i thought it was a crappie too yeah i did i, I, I could tell he was flatter just by a little than a bass but what well, he was skimming yeah he was a skimmer that's a cool colored one though look he's like green that's like an ar army guy like get out of there so anyway I won't have any issues with the sharp. I probably will end up running. It'll be 15 pound braid to leader, chatter baits, all that kind of stuff. On the quick, we'll probably stay 10 pound. I thought I had another hit. And then I've still got to decide if I want to get the powerful. Hear that noise it made? Yeah, I thought your line just broke. That's the 15 going through, that little knot of the 15 going through. It goes through, but you can definitely hear the difference between it and the 13 fishing, which has about the size guide you'd want, except the tip does seem a little bit bigger than it needs to be. But it's only $80 rod. But I think this one has just a touch more power in it. It's a little stiffer rod than that other one. But, yeah, I know. Totally off the Fritz flat side or something. Yeah. I think I got one of those, or had one. I think I took them out of my box, because the flat side one, I think they're for colder water, but they typically, I never have as much luck on a flat sided bait. Matt caught a monster and I got freaking snagged with the chatterbait. That bait looks yellow in this light. Yeah, it is yellow and brown. It's a bullfrog. Almost not really. Oh, I got off. I think I got the best rod for the job. This rod does feel good. What's well, weird, I feel that and it feels sticky. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I saw you jump. <laughs> It scared me. I'm like, whoa, right at the boat. The swim jig, I think. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> but no, I'm just telling Matt, like, when you hold this, it, you're thinking your hand's going to be sticky. Like when you grab something sticky, the kids, you know, if you guys have kids, and you, you can tell instantly the kids had something because it's got a sticky feel to it, and that's what this feels like. But then it's not on your hands. It's weird. There we go. I told you there was something behind this boat. Oh, mine come off. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, it came off too. But I, I know I saw fish. You know, we passed that area. And I'm like, There's, we're going right across the top of fish. Yeah, they're just not on bottom. I think they're... I don't know why I lost that fish. 
like. Could this quick be too? Nah, it shouldn't be too stiff of a rod for these baits, I wouldn't think. I don't know though. Nah. I would think that should should be about the right size you'd want. Power and action. All right. Now I'm recording. Whoa! Oh boy. He got bigger. Good thing you didn't catch you a big one. That's on this light rod. It's a more for BFS stuff. That's a nice little. Oh! Uh oh. Chunk. Uh oh. Doesn't count. How did I miss that fish? How did he come off? Look, it's still. Like not even out? He must have been on. It didn't even pop that all the way out of the thing yet. So. The drag was too loose. Too right. Loose. I need to tighten that drag up some because that's a 10 pound test. So. We'll go three just three clicks tighter now we'll go four now we'll go five and we're going six six clicks tighter will definitely help still may need to go hot even more i'm rigging something up here i'm not done yet but matt caught a fish so we're going to look at it oh that ain't even worth turning the camera on matt look he gets bigger oh he gets bigger oh look at him he's huge all right let's keep going Think bigger, boys and girls. Yes. Now this is where you caught the one big one, the other. Yeah, right there on that point. I probably shouldn't have went away from that. Well, that was a good hit. I don't know how that didn't stick. It'll start out way over there. Come across this point. I got that big one. I just came straight to the middle of that bank over there. And just brought it out. But I think that's about where I caught him. Uh-oh. That uh -oh. might be him again. He's nice nicer. chunk. I got one too. Mine is not that big. <laughs> Mine was a little baby. I could tell the minute I was like, I got one, but he ain't what you got. Yep, there's always one on that point, ain't there? Oh, that's a chunk. Mm -hmm. That's a four, I'm guessing. All right, all right. Three and a half, four. He's like, not yet, I'm not. That is a big one. Yeah. No, he got smaller. Yep. That's three. Kind of scrawny. Big head. Uh, two and a half. It definitely first head shot looked. He's not a jumper. No, it's kind of opposite of what it, Charles's house has a. Head that looks half that size, but the body is a little fatter, bigger around. Eating real good. Two pounder. Yeah, they're eating. They're better than these meth fish over here. Go ahead. I just want to freaking catch a fish on this bait. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there. You get it? Broke off. Oh, it did? Yeah, I ain't got to worry about that bait no more. The way there wasn't bad because, you know, the anticipation. <sighs> Yep, got him finally. Jesus, I had to stop and let him just get it. Oh. And still didn't hook him. He bumped it like two or three times. Finally, I just stopped. And then I felt him again. That's one of them little freaking hooks. Thought that was a little bit of bass. Yeah. The way back and forth, it, it seemed like it took forever. There. And a slip almost. That's another one. That, that might be a little bit better. Yeah, right where that wind's picking up on this thing. Well, I'm okay with if the Look big ones. Look how dark he yeah, is. I know, dark, and he's shallow. Been shallow all morning, probably. As long as the bigger ones stay hooked, I'm fine with losing little bass like that. Prefer, to be honest, right, little dinks. That is a nice chunk. 
just looks healthy. He's not big enough to like make a I'm like almost reeling and killing it after that first right there. Oh, that's another bump. Get on it. Yeah, that's one thing I don't mind driving. That's why I got this trucking job. I'm like driving. Oh, oh, had another one that quick. They're like in that white over here. Maybe I might need to try this purple one. Which one did you? Oh, I missed two blue. fish. Black blue. I got a bunch more. I just haven't put one back on yet. Try that purple one right in there. I think old purple's out. Give it another shot right there. It should be a fish. Yeah, we might go in that stump field. That that's a big one. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Back in if you don't want <sighs> You guys aren't gonna believe this. The GoPro went dead right when I set the hook. Man, I thought I had a personal best bass. Look at this freaking catfish. Yeah, Caught him on that purple chatterbait. Yeah. You guys see you him or not? how big that fish is? Or seeing if uh Duke right, wants to back. keep him to eat. Right. Otherwise, we're throwing him back, I guess. He don't want him? Mm -hmm. so we'll pull him out of here. <laughs> He's up over there. So anyway, you talk about a fight on a new rod. That was insane. There you go. Look at that dude. Did you get him unhooked? No, he unhooked it himself. Oh. <laughs> Do we want to try to weigh him? No, you can. Hang on one second. Eugene, where's your scale? Oh my God. Hang on. We're gonna try to weigh him, just so we'll know. Matt's calling him 20. I think he's maybe 15. I'm feeling him. He's, 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 he's pretty heavy. You got it? Yeah. Nope. 13.2. Wow. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Yeah, I think. Don't take our scale. You want him? No, what is it? Catfish. No, no thanks. <laughs> Nobody wants this big catfish. All right, see if he'll jump, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a diver. He's a jumper, kids. Woo, that was a battle. Push that up, would you? My sleeves. Matt got a little slime. Yeah, it's all over the boat. Oh man, my bait. Matt's gotta dig my bait out of there. Oh, look at your line. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about slime. I have to like slide it down, probably. Even. Ooh, that is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. You guys catch a fat catfish and it pops off, and you got this on your bait or line afterwards, and you're like, "What was that?" Trust me, it was a catfish. <laughs> Look at that close up for Jay. Jay loves them close ups. Look at that line. Man. That was freaking awesome though. This rod. You guys missed it. The drag like was just. <laughs> and I had it set good. To, you know, 10 pound uh, lines, what we have on this. Man. Whew. All right. We'll be back. Let's see. Whoa, that thing was twirling. Thing twirled like a spinner bait. I think we need. Oh, is that a bite? I'm getting a bump too here and there. Yep. Right out of here. I mean, huh. 10, 15 feet past that stump. Nice chunk. Let's go past the stump with the chatterbait. I'm just going to slow roll that chatterbait.
That's my 15 pound test going into the tin. I got another one. You're coming in. Folks at home, we're about ready to probably track down a showstopper. Because this bite is tough. I think we probably need to hit that one cove again. I'm going to start. Oh. I missed one on a chatterbait. You missed one on a chatterbait? Yep, I had a bump. Well, real quick, I gotta get my... I gotta get my jig back from the other couple weeks ago. You know, ever since rattle trap and uh, chatterbaits, I haven't been throwing and brush on that much. Uh oh. I think he's on the lawn. No, there's another dead one. Nice chunk. Told you every time. He's right around that branch. Yeah. All that stretching you heard? Yeah, you he heard What's that line. Hey. Nice. Oh, hey, 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 hey. quick catch and release. Watch your boat. Yeah, nice chunk. Let's go. Rattle traps, chatter baits, and baby brush hogs. I don't know if I've yeah, maybe I've caught one on my worm or a couple. You did, you got that that uh one over there off that point on it. Probably need to switch colors. Uh oh, Matt's got one. We're making a push to the end. We're looking for a showstopper. This isn't it. Going with the rattle trap. I may just go to the rattle trap too. We are still catching them occasionally on chatterbaits, but when you come in chatterbait cove and you don't catch any, it's a pretty good sign you ought to switch something else. So buckle up, hang on. We're gonna catch a showstopper and get out of here with this show because the heat, the heat is on literally. The clouds are starting to break up. We had a storm come through last night. Did you guys see my big catfish? Yeah that really happened right when i it's like what you fear if it's going to be a big bass right when you set the hook and you're like oh i got it and then you're like beep 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 and you're like oh no gopro goes dead does not happen on dinks you'll catch them all day long never have a battery go dead on you so anyway buckle up hang on i hope you guys are in better shape than this dock this dock is the one that you guys have seen up by the dam it drifted off by the boat ramp you're down in no man's land down here. Let's do it, Matt. Come on. That is not a showstopper, Matt. Just had a huge freaking carp jump. He probably heard Bass Bonsai was in town catching catfish, scared him. Come on. They never come off anymore. No, no. They. You can't. Sh what was that? Oh, I think I come off a leaf or something. Trying to make myself like a freaking square bill today. Not happening. One more cast with this one and then I might give a... Man, that looks good. Uh-oh, Matt's got a showstopper. Let's end this show, Matt. Oh yeah, good enough. Good enough. You look at that. Hey, hey. Hey. You guys wonder why he uses a net. <laughs> so we're going to call that a, uh, the showstopper. Get, got him by the, That's kind of like a tiger by his tail, Matt. Uh -huh. Can't get to his mouth. That fish hit the deck head first. Ugh. Nice chunk. All right, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Get out. Go do some bass fishing yourself. Uh, I don't know about bonsai. I haven't bonsai myself in about three, four, four years, maybe now. Been a while. If you guys are still holding out, if you're following the channel, waiting for me to do a bonsai tree, you're troopers. So get out of here, guys. Go bass some bonsai. Stay tuned. We have a new catfish rod in the house. And be watching for the live stream. I'm probably going to do one tomorrow night 
and we'll talk about what happened over the weekend and what new baits, new rods, new reels, and what I like and what I don't like. And if I've got an issue with my new zillion reel, stay tuned. Talk to you guys later. I gotta catch one more fish. I tied that one off the cable. I told her, I said, don't aim toward the bank. You just throw it straight out there, way off the bank. Oh, right at the freaking boat, man. I mean, right at the boat. That's a giant. Oh, my God. My God. That was a giant. That was a four and a half or so. I, that was bigger than that. Or five. That's what I'm saying. That was a oh five. Oh, like, God. I'm sitting down, and I'm like, I didn't have time to set the hook because, well, look. I, I was like, right at the boat, right at the boat. I did, And then I realized how big he was. I'm like, oh, shit. That is not good. Oh, right at the freaking boat, man. I mean, right at the boat. Oh, my God. My God. That was a giant. That was a four and a half or so. I, that was bigger than that. Or five. That's what I'm saying. That was a oh five. Like, oh, right at the freaking boat, man. I mean, right at the boat. That's a giant. Oh, my God. My God. That was a giant. That was a four and a half or so. I, that was bigger than that. Or five, that's what I'm saying. That was a oh five, like. God. Oh, right at the freaking boat, man. I mean, right at the boat. That's a giant. Oh my God. My God. That was a giant. That was a four and a half or so. I, that was bigger than that. Or five, that's what I'm saying. That was a oh five, my like. God. Oh, right at the freaking boat, man. I mean, right at the boat. That's a giant. My God! My God! That was a giant. That was a four and a half or so. I, that was bigger than that. Or five. That's what I'm saying. That was a oh five. Like. God. Oh my God! What? <laughs> oh, it's in the. What are you gonna do with him? I don't know. I didn't. Know. Oh my God! I heard him like he's wanting to get in the boat. Is what he's trying to do. Get out of here! <laughs> Oh I thought Matt was going to jump in the water on the other side of the Ooh. boat and swim off. Look at him. Here, I'll try to get him for oh, you. Oh, shit. Bring him in. <laughs> oh, my God. I ain't afraid of them little ones. Is that a... What is that noise? I look over. Yeah. I like, oh, my God. Oh, he looked ugly. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I don't think the GoPro caught you in the first jump, but that was fun. Matt was like, I thought, what? I thought something was in the boat with you or something like a... Here, I'm gonna try to catch this snake for Matt. Oh, I almost had him. I don't know what to do with him either. If I get him, I'll just sit and slosh him around, but that's like that one Emily caught on a frog. A freaking, she fed the frog out and it, it hit the frog and she had it on the, oh God, she's like, I'm like, here, give me the pole. I, I'll freaking deal with him. <laughs> Once I can see him, I'm not afraid of him. It's, it's the walking up on him from the bank and like almost stepping on him scares me yeah, about When the, I could see him, I was fine. It was just yeah, the initial like, oh, hey. Holy crap, man, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Matt's like, he's a little close. <laughs>